Hey VBs, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Keisha with the E, not an I, and we focus on fashion, beauty, travel, lifestyle, and all things good vibes. And if that is part of your vibe, we definitely want you to subscribe. So make sure you turn on your notifications. The lifestyle videos from my experience as an American living in Jamaica, those videos will be coming soon. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are doing something a little different. I did not plan on covering anything having to do with fashion week, but as I started to see the fashion coming across my screen as I was scrolling and all the girls were just like giving looks and just inspiration was coming and I wanted to create some looks. I wanted to inspire you. So I said, why not? Let's just go ahead and inspire each other into it. You know, the end of Black History Month and let's just pay homage to some of our favorite girlies. So let's start off with one of our favorites. It is Janae Naylor, also known as High Low Lux. And the first thing that catches my eye with this look are the boots. She's wearing the Rock Stud Valentino feather boots and they are amazing. I know either you can kind of hate or love these boots, but remember that the feathers are removable so you don't have to wear the feathers all the time. But I love the masculine feminine vibe of this. I love the cinch waist of, I think this is a wardrobe. Somebody will be calling me, sorry. As on this wardrobe NYC wool blazer, and I love the cinch waist. Not sure what shirt and tie that she has on, but she also has this Prada re-edition bag. This look right here, I absolutely love, a 10 out of 10. So I wanted to go and recreate this look. I think I did fairly well. I have this black Zara blazer on, and I really don't get enough wear out of this blazer. I, I do like the shoulder pad shoulders, but sometimes it just gives too much. This look for me, I think it does work and I think it has to do with um, having on that cinch waist. But the shirt that I have on, I got this from the thrift store, I don't know how many years ago in the men's section. So it's oversized, it's long, so that pretty much works. It's a crew neck and I kind of like the way of the aesthetic that it gives since I don't have a tie on. I think this kind of works better with the blazer. Um, I have on this, like this leather holster, not sure where I got this from. And again, I got this so many years ago and I never wear it. So inspiration is good. Of course, we're pulling from our closet this year. We are wearing our clothes. We all have so many clothes that we don't wear and it's always just like rebuying things and we need to start wearing what's in our closet. So that's kind of my oath to myself this year is definitely getting a lot more wear out of what I already have. But I went ahead and paired it with my Prada um, combat boots and I have this um, little square purse that I got from Amazon. So remember all the links will definitely be in the description box, but I will have more additional links because there's only so much that you can do in the description box. I'll have more options over on my website. It will be under the fashion tab and also on my Pinterest. So you can always find a lot of inspiration and links over there. I think I recreated this look pretty well. I would like to wear it somewhere. Not really sure what type of occasion I would wear this to. I mean, she was in fashion week, so that definitely works for the occasion, but leave some suggestions below where exactly you would wear this look to. I don't, I don't know where, but I'm aware somewhere. Look number two, we are featuring the Yusufs, and I was inspired mostly by the shirt. I think this is an area shirt that she has on. I have one that is similar that I got from um, ASOS. It has the crystals on there, but it's more of a tank top. So I just wanted to go ahead and play, you know, play up this look. I thought that it would be fun. So she has on this, um, it looks like a leather skirt, but it has some ruffles at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's like two skirts or if this is just how the skirt comes itself. She has on her silver shark boots, a tan trench, and I think she has on, I think that is the black Jody that she is carrying. So how I went ahead and restyled this look, Again, I have a shirt that is similar to this that I got from ASOS. I paired it with um, two skirts. I didn't have any, I wanted to be able to play up that concept with the, with the leather and the ruffle in her 
what she's wearing. So I went with the tulle and pleather. <laughs> so I had this tulle skirt that I have had forever. Um, I, I, I swear I was giving this skirt away I don't know how many times and somehow it still stays in my closet. And it's paired with this skirt that's actually from um, my clothing brand, which is Irie. So again, everything will be linked in the description box and also you can find this on my website itself. But this is a skirt that has tie ups on the back and the front. And so I kind of like the ties that kind of hang from it as well. And it gives it um, a different type of aesthetic. I did pair it with my shark boots. I'm not ex exactly sewed on the boots um, with it. I'm thinking because my skirt is so long, I don't know if I really like that it with the boots on there. I probably should have went with more of a, um, some type of heel but let me know what you think about that and then I just paired it with my Chanel boy bag so I think this look was definitely you know similar it played off each off of each other I would have never thought to even kind of even put this together so even with that leather and that ruffle in her skirt it just gave me the um, idea to kind of just you know play on that type of concept so again playing in your closet this always helps let's move on to look number three and who are we featuring? Are we featuring the Yusufs again? And this is actually, well, you know what? I'll take that back. I really like all of them. All of them made me um, have a different type of concept of mixing and matching. So I can't say this one is my favorite, but I really, really do like this look. And I know that I definitely will be wearing it. She has on this um, organza top from Andrea Iyama paired with this silver pleated skirt. I really loved this concept. And this really gave me a great idea with this look. The only thing I wish I was able to know her shoes. There were no pictures of like the full look and I really would have been interested to know just what she kind of paired. I even left a message like, can you please just have a full look? So I just wanna, I'm so interested. It's like a cliffhanger. I wanna know what shoes do you have on? I was very excited to recreate this look because I have a shirt that's very similar to this that I've never worn. I'm not sure why I never reach for it. So I'm like, you know what? We reaching for our things. So let's go ahead and play up this look. I still wanted to play on the pleats that she's wearing in her skirt and the only pleated skirt that I have um, was the yellow and uh, you know in the green and yellow that goes together but when it came to the shoes I was I was thinking like what do I want to bring out in this look I went with the snakeskin Fendi first I think it really plays with the yellow and the green it just all really ties together um, in the bag, I just went with my Alma, Louis Vuitton, and a translucent uh, shade from Amazon. And I really, really do like this look. Um, I will be wearing this somewhere. This is great for brunch and, you know, just kind of like hanging out a little um, dinner date. So, yeah, I will be definitely wearing her somewhere. All right, so up next is Brown Girl Cheek. And what I love about this look is the color combination. And then when you get down to the bottom, you like, oh, metallic mules. Okay, with the black and the brown. I like it. I can dig it. I want to I wanna see what I can do with that. So she has on this Frankie shop, you know, the leather jacket. She has on these leather jeans. Um, looks like a turtleneck, Bottega rocket mule heels with the Fendi bag. So how I wanted to recreate this look, I wanted to stay in the same color scheme. I did not need to have two layer pieces on top. So instead of me having like, you know, um, a jacket and a top I just went ahead and took that brown from her jacket at as my my top piece so I have this top on that's from ASOS again another piece that I don't even reach for I probably worn this top maybe one time these jeans are from um, boho they are a faux leather at the bottom and with a dark you know with the black denim up top 
don't reach for these as well. The mules that I have on, I did these in a previous video in a mini haul. And these mules are still available. I went to go check, you know, prior to this video. These are from Shop Akira. Instead of me grabbing for the Fendi, I never really grab for my uh, Louis Vuitton Denier bag anymore. So I went ahead and got the dust off of her and I think this really kind of completes the look. Also, I have on the Louis Vuitton monogram belt. Really like how I was able to put my own spin with this look. Really love the color combination and then just that pop of the metallic mules. Like, do not sleep on these mules. They are extremely, extremely comfortable. And again, it really will just elevate any type of look that you're wearing because again, metallic is on trend. They put you in remnants of the Bottega Rocket Mules and the Sam Edelmans and things like that. So it's a great buy, don't miss out. All right, so let's go and get into the next look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, rolling out one leg. All right, so the final look is our girl Tanika B. And what I like most about this look is first of all, I love that Gucci corset. I absolutely adore it. And I love the fact that she put a pink sequence. I'm not sure if this is a jacket or if it's like a sequence sequence shirt that she put over her shoulders, but I like the pink that is so unexpected with this look. She has on, like I said, the Gucci corset, looks like some black trousers. You really can't see the shoes. Maybe they're Gucci, she is at a Gucci event, and she has on a Gucci handbag. So I went ahead and recreated the look and still wanted to play with the same color combination. Um, I have this Gucci bodysuit. It's just pure tan with these mango cargo. I paired it with my black Fendi first and with my Chanel boy bag. So I think this is still given the same. I never would have thought to put the pink with the tan and the black and I really do like that together. So this is something too, it's very easy that you can wear. I do like the spin that I put on this look. I will be wearing this look as well. I will be wearing, I think I'll wear all the looks. Again, I do need your help with look number one. I don't know where I'm gonna wear that one too, but I'm gonna wear it somewhere. But um, yeah, I think it's always good to be able to, you know, again, play around in your closet, get some inspiration. Make sure you save this video for whenever you're going out or just need some ideas. Share it with your friends. You can share me, it's okay. It's always good to be able to have some inspiration for looks that you can be able to go to. Play in your closet ahead of time. Like even with the looks that you see that I'm doing and if anything really catches your eye, go ahead and put those looks together. So when it's time to wear them, you already have that idea that, okay, this works because you don't wanna get frustrated when it's time to put the look together and it's not, you know, coming together. That is the worst feeling when you have a thought or a look in your mind and you like, okay, it's gonna go together and it's a flop and then you gotta start from square one and you got an hour to get ready. Now you're under pressure. And you know what I mean, it just kind of becomes a cluster from there. All right, BBs, if you have stayed to the end, I greatly appreciate you. And if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the tribe. Please make sure you comment and let me know which look is your favorite, where the hell I can wear number one to, because it is such a vibe and I wanna wear it somewhere, so I need your help. And tell me if you will be recreating any of these looks. Again, I appreciate you. Always take care of you and never let anyone come in between your peace. Thanks, BBs. Until next time.